Rainy Bastarach with the American School of Hypnosis. I'd like to thank all of you for being here today. This is our kind of year-end, uh, New Year beginning uh, type talk. And oh, we have someone on here. Listen to the affirmations repeatedly so they uh, so that they manifest. Cool. So uh, anyways, I want to thank you all for being here. And what we want to do is talk a little bit about last year, uh, answer your questions, talk a little bit about what you'd like to see for next year. So, excuse me, Jenna from Port Ritchie, Florida. Oh, Jenna, it must be nice down there. It's like 15 degrees outside. Uh, after we're done this, we're going to go out and get our coffee. I usually get iced coffee, but in this weather, I just ask for regular coffee, hold it out the window for about a minute, and it's iced coffee. <laughs> So, uh, very cold. I would love to be in Florida right now. Maybe we'll hold next week's meeting there. <laughs> so, let's see. And uh, Kati K I always have a hard time. K Katanza Art. Go ahead and let me know who you, what your name was again. Sorry, and where you're from. I like to have some names that I can talk to people. Let's see. There's some major freezing going on. I don't know what in the world is going on with that. What's that? Unfortunately, it sounds like we have freezing going on. Uh, lately, YouTube, when we go live, has been giving us trouble because of maybe the amount of people. That's why we decided to come on earlier today. So we're going to do what we can and uh, trying to go through the video even with this. And uh, if it doesn't come out clear, just so you know, this is being recorded. So I'll probably put the recorded version up later on. Let's see. I listened to your intro repeatedly. Okay, so that must mean my uh, my intro was probably repeating. <laughs> but uh, Jenna says, it's starting to rain here today. No sunshine. Yes, but the rain is not frozen, is it? Okay. <laughs> it's not snowing, I bet. Uh, and let's see. Oh, you're from... Kitan, uh, your Kitan from Mumbai, Mumbai. Ooh, that's quite a ways from here. You probably, uh, I don't even know what time, uh, what the season is over there. So, but you probably, I imagine there's no snow. <laughs> so, anyways, what are your questions? Go ahead and let us know what your questions are uh, about hypnosis, if you have any. Let me know if you are uh, having a, if you're in practice. And if you're in practice, what kind of practice do you do? What do you specialize in? Uh, everyone loves to hear what other people are doing, uh, whether it's doing, <laughs> whether it's uh, whether you're doing it full time, part time. Uh, just let me know what you're doing, and uh, we'll get you know. If you want to ask questions, if anybody else wants to ask questions about what you're doing, that'll be great too. And we have Nero on. Hey, Nero, good to see you. Where are you from? Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Yes, it's winter. So uh, in Mumbai, it is winter. What kind of winters do you have? Uh, do you, do you ever see snow? <laughs> so. Do you need to? Oh, you need to have that for the text, huh? Uh, what's that really? You need to have that open for the messages. Is that what that is? Have what open Are now? You live with OBS right now. Yes. It's okay. Uh, my technical uh, things on the side. It's all right. We we are recording this, so even if it doesn't come out well, I'll just cancel this movie and put the recorded version one on later on. Jenna, I'm practicing part time with two offices, specializing in smoking cessation. Wow, Jenna, most people uh, practice full time with one office. How how are you doing two offices part time? Uh, one session here, one session there. <laughs> How far apart are they? Are they in different cities, different states? Uh, it's a great thing to do. I, I remember when I first started out some 25 years ago, uh, we had offices and actually we had, I had one in my home and I had two offices and two different medical parks in different cities. So that was kind of neat. Each day we kind of popped around to different places. So, and oh, oh good, I'm finding out that it's snowless in Mumbai. That's good. <laughs> And Anthony, Anthony is on with deep sleep hypnosis. 
I think he's actually still sleeping. Oh, that would... Anthony, it must be, what, 9, 8, 7, 6 in the morning over there? I'd say 5 or 6, uh, actually 6 or 7 in the morning. Uh, you must have got the message last night because I don't think you would be up this time of morning. So, and so anyone, anyone, what kind of sessions do you do? Do you have an office or in Jenna's case, two offices? Um, let us know what you do and let's, we'll see what kind of information we can help you with. Any questions for hypnosis? And the big one, okay, I was saying earlier, to, to help us out, we get our information from you folks. We're here to help you. So if you have uh, any thoughts on what you'd like to see us do, what direction you'd like to see us take for, uh, for next year, uh, let us know any kind of courses you'd like to see, any kind of uh, scripts you'd like to see, if you, we're doing great with the scripts or another way you'd like to do another uh, direction you'd like to see us take. Uh, another thing we've been tossing around, uh, see how many of you are interested in it, is we've been actually thinking about putting together possibly a weekly or a monthly mastermind meeting for practitioners and want to be practitioners and experienced practitioners. So a mastermind that would help people to build business and expand their business. Now, for those of you that aren't inter uh, aren't uh, excuse me uh, familiar with a mastermind, what that is is a group of anywhere from could be five to ten people, sometimes even more, uh, that get together and one person usually is in a hot seat each week or each meeting, and they talk about their business, what their uh, successes are, what their uh, problems are, what's going on, and then each person goes around, as we go around the room, each other person, which is usually a similar type business person to yourself, would give their ideas on what kind of you know suggestions they would have. And of course, you go out that week and work on that, and the next week someone else is in the hot seat. So it's a, a great thing to do to help businesses to grow. Because sometimes we only have our own ideas, and with a mastermind, you're getting you know multiple ideas from multiple minds that can really help to make a business successful. Let's see, let me go back over here. Jenna is talking about, down in Florida, the offices are about six miles apart. Uh, Sunday in one area and Saturday in another area. My office is about five miles from home. Well, that's nice. Uh, five miles from home, you don't have to go too far. <laughs> uh, Tanya, good morning. Does every state accept your certificate after completing your course? Uh, 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 basically, we are international, okay? So hypnosis isn't like a lot of things like psychiatry or psychology. There's no accepting or non-accepting. You can either do hypnosis or you can't. So any certificate is accepted. It's just that state, from state to state, they tell you uh, they all have different rules. In one state, depending on your educational background, you may be able to be called a hypnotherapist or you might just be able to be called a hypnotist. In other words, a lot of states will have, like Florida, for instance, has a rule on the books that unless you have a medical or mental health degree, you can't call yourself a hypnotherapist or do clinical hypnosis. But you can do smoking, weight loss, stress, you know, there's hundreds of other things. But if you're going to get into mental health issues or pain management without a, you know, if you don't have the educational degree to do that, they won't allow it. And that's basically, I, I think it's a great idea because they make you work within your realm of practice. Now, there's always ways around it. I have a uh, few people in Florida that work that actually work hand in hand with doctors or at different centers where they're using their background and credentials to, to do those kind of things. So I hope that helps to explain that a bit. Let's see. And practicing... Boy, you're coming up with these great words. Uh, Brahm Havida, Vidya, <laughs> which is based on affirmations and breathing. Exercising physical positions to boost the affirmations. Uh, well, it sounds like a great thing. I don't know if I'd be able to pronounce the word, so I'd probably have to call it Brahma for short. <laughs> but, and let's see, Anthony with brain spanking you. Uh, you. <laughs> brain Spanking you. I always, I always have a hard time with that, Anthony, but <laughs> it, it rings in your head, though. 
deep sleep hypnosis i do my stuff right here on the youtubes yes that's right and for those of you that are interested especially since we're talking about affirmations anthony does a lot of work uh doing uh i guess you could say sessions affirmations uh where you can help yourself overnight it's like sleep affirmations and some of these are hours long you know do anywhere from an hour to i think i've seen some that were up to eight hours great stuff go ahead and check them out at brain spanking you just click on that little link there uh tanya okay great info thanks yeah tanya that's that's one of the i guess that's one of the biggest uh confusions in hypnosis i hear that all the time uh this week alone i had someone from canada and I think UK, are you accepted here? And it's like, well, we're accepted everywhere. Accepted for what, you know? Uh, I mean, we have a hypnosis school, which once you learn hypnosis, you can do hypnosis anywhere. But then it goes according to wherever you are. Do they have rules? Do they, and usually the rules have nothing to do with where you train. It has to do, like I said, with your educational background. Uh, so, any other questions? Come on, we got a lot of people on there. Got a lot of questions that can be asked. I don't want to say bye bye already. <laughs> you know me, I like to talk, so give me something to talk about. And oh, by the way, we just finished up the, or actually a few days ago, we just finished up the six days of Christmas or holiday specials. And uh, the last one, the last day, we actually extended it until today. So the last one of our holiday specials ends today at midnight and that one was i believe 15 percent off anything we have in our online store and anybody that purchases over a hundred dollars worth of product gets a 50 dollar hypno days one of those crazy days type coupons that they could use anytime in january so i have the link uh below the video uh where to find the coupon code okay the code to be able to get your 15 percent off and explains what's going on with that so that goes on till today and let's see what else we have tanya when you do subliminal sleep hypnosis is it to be is it better to stick with the same ones over and over or is listening to many different subjects mixed uh, around uh, mixed around it okay which way is better okay well um that's a good question <laughs> i think when you're doing subliminal it's the same as when you're doing a regular uh, regular uh type uh session and what i tell people is one main thing and possibly one or two minor things so if it's let's say a session for smoking you would just do smoking but you can include confidence and self-esteem but i wouldn't do smoking weight loss pain management stress you know all those major things because the subconscious mind's like a five-year-old child if you told a five-year-old child i want you to clean your room take the dog out for a walk do the dishes put the laundry inside the machine you lost them on the clean your room okay you give them one thing to do once they do it then you could do the next so with hypnosis it's pretty much the same thing try to keep your one session simple to a certain topic then once the, the client has accomplished that then you can move on to a next one like in live sessions i like to go at least a month with one thing because it takes a month or a minimum of about 30 days to create a new habit to replace the old one. Then you can start with something else. But keep the, you know, you want to keep affirmations going for the first one as well. You know, it's always good to keep on plugging it, you know. So with the nighttime ones as well, I mean, if it happens to be for wealth, for the sleep hypnosis, that's great. You can say a lot of different affirmations, but still approaching wealth, uh, you know, the same topic. If that helps out at all. And Anthony, how long are your courses? Well, that all depends. <laughs> um, we have like 20, I believe like 20 to 25 home, uh, home study courses. And most of them, if you just stayed at it nine to five and worked at it, you can get them done within a week. Uh, some of them within a couple of days. However, as you know, when people are doing things at home, they work at it 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So like a home study course, for instance, uh, the certification, I've seen people take anywhere from two years to two months, some of them a year. But that home study course that we have uh, for the hypnosis certification is the same class that we teach live, 
which we can teach six days for a group or three days for a one-on-one. -on -one. So if you think of it, it's the same information, so it can be done in three days, but that would be really pushing yourself. And the thing is, when you're in a classroom, you're being pushed, but when you're uh, on your own, there's no one saying, do it, do it, do it, and you, know, you get distracted a lot. Let's see. <clears throat> A client just asked over, oh, Raluca, she's checking the email because people are writing things in. A client just asked over email, can I take your instructor course if I'm already a hypnotist? Yes, you can. Um, matter of fact, I'd say the majority of people who do become instructors with us come from other schools. They might be instructors with other schools or actually hypnotists from other schools. So if you're a hypnotist from someplace else, it just gives you that added experience because included in our instructor course is our hypnosis certification as well. So now you're going to learn how we do it. Plus, you're going to already know how you did it. So when you're teaching a class, you're going to have a lot more to draw from. So yeah, that's great. And also we have people... Uh, I, have, I have that question asked a lot about how about if I'm already a practitioner with you? you know? uh, yeah, if you're a practitioner with us, same thing. You can take the instructor course as well. Again, it gives you that added seasoning because you know exactly what it is you're going to be teaching already. Let's see. I would like to hypnotize myself to remove any astrological glitches that are indicating indicated on my horoscope. Is that possible? Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know very much, or I should say uh, I probably know nothing about astrological things. So I, I can tell you, you know, not looking at that topic, is that you can do anything you can do normally, you can do better with hypnosis. So the answer to that would be yes. If there's something you want to do, you want to change, remove, or any kind of glitches you have, as long as you want to do them, you can do them with hypnosis. The reason why I say want to do them, you can't be hypnotized to do anything you don't want to do. So if somebody doesn't want to quit smoking and they come see you and their wife's saying make him quit smoking, it's not going to work. You have to want to. So, uh, yeah, hypnosis can be used to actually enhance anything. Oh, we have Butu Buta. That's an interesting name. Where are you from? Let's see. Good morning. I did try hypnosis before. My problem is uh, I couldn't bring feelings. I couldn't bring feelings to work with it. Uh, even I'm, I'm having a hard time reading this, <laughs> even if it is in my mind and I have a hard time with a grudge, uh, it's hard to create the feeling. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. You couldn't bring feelings to work. Maybe you can explain that a little further. So, uh, I'm, I'd like to answer that, but I'm not really sure where we're going with that. Okay. And Anthony, Anthony, what does he have here? He says, uh, right, Rainy. Oh, okay, my explanation on sleep hypnosis because he's the specialist on that. I, uh, I know like to sometimes toss in a couple of subjects into sleep hypnosis sessions recording. Oh, I know I like to, yeah, a couple subjects is good, but, you know, like not major things. Like I said before, you know, you're not going to do, you know, like uh, smoking and, uh, you know, weight loss. Those are two major things that want to be separated. But with every session we do, um, it's always good to add in confidence, uh, self-image, because these are all things that you want to have. So confidence, self-image, uh, energy, uh, excitement, you know, uh, just feeling good. When you open your eyes at the count of five, you're going to feel so much better than you did before. And then you count to five and people open their eyes and go, wow, I feel so much better than before. <laughs> Number one, it helps the client. Number two, it helps you to realize this worked really well this time. When the, when you hear them say the exact same thing that you just said. Let's see. 
Uh, yes, energy correction. I want to. I want to. <laughs> yeah, you got to be positive. You know, you do want things. It's amazing. Uh, the subconscious mind doesn't understand negative. So when you say I don't want something, you are attracting what you don't want. And so many people do that. I know when Raluca uh, speaks to people or does any kind of counseling or anything like that, she'll say, what do you want? Let's say somebody's there for marital trouble. What do you want? And they'll say, well, I don't want a divorce. So what are they focusing on? Divorce, because you always attract to you what you focus on, not so much what you say, what you focus on, or they don't want to go broke. What are they focusing on? Going broke. Instead, I want a great relationship, or I want wealth, or I have wealth is even better. You want to see yourself having it now, because everything works in the now. The now is the key. It's not the future or the past, because the future is not here. The past is gone. I have, you know, I am. I have a great relationship. I am happy. Those are the kind of things you want to say uh, in affirmations and hypnosis. That's the best way to get them across. And I'm reading here. Uh, Does the nighttime subliminal messages or hypnotic messages work on a person if they don't know it's on? If they aren't consciously aware of it. <clears throat> well, that's the whole idea of nighttime subliminals and nighttime messages is it's bypassing the conscious mind and speaking directly to the subconscious. So if they're not consciously aware of it, that's how it's working. Even when you're sleeping, you're not consciously aware that it's on. Uh, if you came back to the conscious, you were, <laughs> okay? But it's being bypassed, going straight to the subconscious. Now, that being said, does that mean you can play subconscious messages on your husband while he's sleeping? Uh, not a good idea because the thing is, he'll probably wake up and hear them. Or number two, you can't be, like I said earlier, you can't be hypnotized to do anything against your will. So if they're hearing messages and it's something that they don't want to do, so if you're hypnotizing your husband, you will buy me a diamond ring. You will buy me a diamond. He's going to open up his eyes and say, no way. And you're not getting a diamond ring. Okay, remember hypnosis isn't a magic spell. Hypnosis is a helpmate. Now, helpmate means it's there to assist you, not do it for you. It's funny because a lot of times people will come to be hypnotized, let's say to, to quit smoking, for example. And, oh, I still feel like smoking. It didn't make me stop. It's not going to make you stop. The only way it can make you stop is if it can duct tape your hand to the chair, you know. It's not going to do that. It's going to help you, but you have to already be committed to want to quit. So or uh, so if you're going to be playing this at nighttime, keep that in mind. I think it's uh, great to let people know they're going to do it. Now, I do sleep hypnosis for children, or I teach sleep hypnosis for children. and did it with my kids growing up. That's a little different. They're your children. You're responsible for them. You're hypnotizing them for what you think is best for them. Recently, I had somebody say, oh, I don't think it's right that you're doing it without discussing it with the child first. Well, that's really not so because you think with hypnosis, if you're hypnotizing a child to improve and you let them know what suggestions you're going to give them and, you know, let's say they're, they're having behavioral problems and you're trying to help them, they may resist those suggestions at nighttime. So remember, a child, as a parent, your job is to mold and turn that child into a functioning member of society, into a better person. So, uh, so it's a little different with a child because, like I said, you're responsible for them, but you're not responsible for another adult. So get their permission. Uh, let's see, what do we have? <clears throat> And, oh, Raluca looks like she got another, oh, the email's going, huh? Would you consider teaching a class live? I see you do a lot of home study, but I prefer to go to live events. Well, uh, actually being, uh, being in charge of running the school and the association, we've been spending most of our time just doing this and haven't, you know, haven't had the time to teach a live class. But as we're talking about 2019 and what's going on uh we're actually planning on doing that possibly we haven't chosen a date but possibly sometime in september we're planning on teaching a, a live uh hypnosis certification course most likely it's going to be in the boston area uh, we want to teach it someplace where people can you know fly in easily 
And uh, so Boston has a lot of hotels. It's central to a lot of things, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a great place to go. So, yeah, we are planning on teaching a live home study course sometime, probably in September in Boston. So uh, keep tuned in, and you'll hear as things progress. We'll probably schedule it sometime in the spring so people know it's coming. And... Uh, the, I don't know if I should refresh, the comments kind of slow down and stop, but I see there's still people watching, which tells me that either, oh, I, I know you're commenting, uh, it, tells, it tells me that we're possibly frozen, because I see that circle has been going around and around and around on my YouTube for like the last 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that, hopefully not lose anything as I'm doing it. And even while I'm refreshing, it should still be recording, and we'll see if I... Oh, there we go. That was the problem with my video. I could see that it's moved on. Okay. Yep, that was the problem. I refreshed it. Now I'm seeing all the comments. So if I'm not answering your comment, it's just because, like a lot of you, my screen froze. <laughs> Let me see. Jenna, would you consider doing it via webinar uh, as well or Zoom? Uh, well, for the for the home study course, for the certification, we only do it right now. We only do it live or, you know, through the home study course. Uh, and, and the home study course uh, is a combination of video, audio, and, and the manual. Um, we had thought of doing it uh, via, you know, live before. Uh, but the thing is, the amount of time that it requires to be on the video and with the kind of connections you have, as you can see here, it made it kind of tough. Uh, that's something we're always looking into. We'd like to find some, you know, some good programs. And they're starting to come up. Of course, YouTube is the best avenue to do this on because it's the largest one. But I know we just recently had a program called BlueJeans.com. BlueJeans is a live recording thing that works strictly with Facebook. So that wasn't a bad thing. So... Uh, but again, it's strictly with Facebook and you don't know where they're going <laughs> right now. It's not looking good for them. <clears throat> so, uh, as technology improves, that's something that we're going to consider doing in the future. Um, let me see. What do we got here? I got a, a message here. Oops. Okay. That's not for this. And what else do we have? Okay, Tanya, is that is that a question? This is uh, nighttime sleep subliminal, one with white noise like a child for bedwetting. Now, I don't know if that's a question or a comment, or you have to be a little more explicit with that. Let's see. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> good question that you uh, thing you brought up about uh, white noise is I know uh, Anthony has a lot of his that he has with uh, really great music, and, and that's nice. And another option is to use white noise. Um, I think white noise is a great thing to listen to if you want to go to sleep, if there's noise or somebody's watching TV in the other room or something like that. It kind of fills in the blank so your mind can be quiet and go to sleep. Problem with white noise in a session, which is why Anthony uses such great music, is... Uh, it's not as relaxing. I mean, would you rather hear, you know, the birds and the waves and the nice, soothe, smooth music, or would you rather hear, you know, crackling white noise in the background? Um, I, I, I've made them with both in the past. Uh, like I said, I still listen to white noise uh, when I go to sleep because it, it helps out, you know, when I'm not listening to sessions. Cause we, where Luke and I listen to nighttime sessions quite often. Uh, we listen to them for, you know, depending on what we're working on for, uh, oh, stre uh, <laughs> oh, not that we're stressed, but for <laughs> relaxation, for, uh, you know, uh, health, for a lot of different things, wealth. So there's a lot of different ones, and we you play them overnight. And, uh, again, I look at it as that's a dead time where you're not really doing anything. So why not hypnotize yourself? Why not help yourself in downtime like that? So that's great. And <clears throat> so we've had quite a few questions. Uh, once more, now that we have more people on here, what kind of things 
would you like to see us work on? What do you think of that idea I had about the mastermind? Uh, any kind of courses you'd like to see? Uh, I know someone said about doing, uh, for Luca and I getting out there and doing a live course again. Uh, we've been th thinking about that. We actually missed a live training, but we've been so busy doing this. But we do have instructors all over the place too. So keep that in mind. Let's see. Uh, previously, okay, Tanya asked whether the right, uh, nighttime subliminal uh, messages work on a person if they don't know it's on, uh, if they aren't consciously aware. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's not a good idea to do it if they don't know it's consciously working, but yeah, it will work even though you don't know it's on. So to answer that question, the answer is yes. While we're on that, let me give you a little uh, safety tip. How many of you let the television or radio run because you want to hear things like that when you go to bed or during dinner when you're eating with your family? Keep in mind, today, uh, on uh, especially with television, there are so many negative commercials. Almost every other one happens to be uh, these uh, pharmaceutical ones. You know, do you, do you open your eyes in the morning? Do you breathe when you're awake? Then you have this. You got to take this pill. Call your doctor. You know, you get so many of those, and they're designed to condition you. They use fear tactics or whatever to get you to think you have this to build up the fear so you do call your doctor. Well, guess what? When you're sleeping at night and you're listening to, uh, let's say, nice music on the radio or listen to the television noise, those commercials come on and there's no resistance. I mean, when you hear them in the daytime, we turn them off, you know. But at nighttime, you don't turn them off. So they're going right to your subconscious mind and they're conditioning you. This is why a lot of times people that listen to television might feel like they're sick all the time or might be worried about this or a little more stressed because of all the stressful things coming in during the night. So my suggestion is if you do that, stop or get one of those TV things that blocks the commercials. Uh, better yet, listen to soothing things. Get a hold of brain, brain, brain spanking you and get some nice, you know, calming things that's good for you to sleep with. Uh, same as the radio, you know, not a good idea because you're not um, previewing what's being said on them. Uh, you know, same thing at dinner time. At dinner time, people sit down, and this is why a lot of these heavy-duty commercials, uh, what I call the really bad ones, come on around dinner. You're sitting down with your family to a meal, relaxed, and you hear a commercial that you don't like on the other side. So what do you do? Uh, you just leave it there. But guess what? While you're eating and talking to your family... It's using uh, not, not yeah, kind of a subliminal, but what I call uh, an analytical approach of programming you. While other people are talking and your mind's busy, it's going right into your subconscious mind, which is the analytical approach of hypnotizing someone, which works on pretty much everybody. Anyone can be confused. Not everyone can be relaxed. So by keeping your mind busy or confusing you and giving you suggestions, it goes right into your subconscious mind. So there's a little something to help you, you know, especially during the holidays. You know, Don't go to sleep with the television or radio on. Listen to some music. Listen to a, a nice tape or CD, MP3. Uh, and also during dinner time, if you're not going to be eating in front of the TV, if you eat at the dinner table, shut off the TV or anything that has commercials. <clears throat> Great, I like the idea of the mastermind. Okay, so we got one for mastermind. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Anthony, good point. TV at night is just a bad idea all around. <laughs> I see you run into it. Yeah, it's like you wake up in the middle of the night, gotta turn off that commercial. We're looking at if we hear one of them, it's like, cancel, 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 you know, turn it off. We run across the room, shut it off. Uh, actually, we haven't had, you know, we, uh, we just use the TV and the computer now, but we've canceled our TV subscription. Gosh, it's got to be at least 10 years ago. And it was for that reason. Commercials were just driving us nuts. And, um, yeah, it's been about 10 years since I've had it, so it's been nice. And Ruluca says, keep in mind, guys, that 15%... Uh, off specials. Oh, look, I'm giving the commercial again. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to say. 15 off, percent off special ends today. And also about the gift certificate. Thank you, Reluga. Let's see. 
Hootie from Bulgaria. Hey, howdy. <laughs> howdy, I'm thinking howdy. James, <laughs> James, I thought you just changed your name to Hody. <laughs> hey, James, good to see you. Yeah, and Anthony says, with, uh, with brain spanking you, yes, especially the news. Yeah, the news can be kind of negative. Imagine, imagine listening to the news while you're sleeping. Oh, my gosh, you'd wake up stressed. It's funny because sometimes I'll, I, I turn on, uh, I go to, you know, one of the stations there, and uh, I'm not going to say which one, and, you know, click on it on my YouTube just to see the main things going on. And I'll listen to one or two of the ones that look interesting to me. And I shouldn't do that before going to bed because here I am, relaxed, tired, wanting to go to bed. So I see what's going on in the world, and all of a sudden I'm stressed, and I don't want to go back to I don't want to go to sleep, so I'm up for another hour. I guess that would be a great thing to do every once in a while if I want to stay up all night and work. But, uh, yeah, listening to that kind of stuff can really stress you out. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yes, news is mass hypnotism. <laughs> Pretty much everything is uh, mass hypnosis. Hypnosis comes across uh, television, radio. I mean, I think they say you're hypnotized probably 80% of your day, especially if you're out in public. I mean, right now... While you're sitting watching me, okay, uh, just look around you at all the branding. I mean, I'm looking looking around my room right now, and I see branding. Uh, there's Dunkin' Donuts. There's Samsung on my two monitors. There's Logitech on my little program over there. That's all a form of hypnosis. It's all branding. It's all trying to keep these names in front of you, you know. Of course, you have the news and all the different things that they're saying. Of course, the news is no such thing as, uh, you know, they talk about fake news. It's all fake news because there's no 100% truth because this, this news station has their perception. This one has their perception. Everything is perception. You know, I mean, I, I show, uh, let's see, something, something funny here. What would be good? I show this to you, okay, and I say, tell me about what you're seeing. And you're saying, I'm seeing a dry eraser. Yes, I'm seeing the erasing end of a dry eraser. And I say, no, it's the end that you would hold of a dry eraser. So we argue over what I'm seeing. We're both seeing the same thing, but you're seeing this side. I'm seeing this side. So there's different perceptions on everything, no matter what it is. Uh, who is it? Uh, if any of you watch Babylon 5, Mr. Star Starzynski, okay, is a writer. He says there's your opinion, there's my opinion, and there's the truth. It's, he says the truth is like a three-edged sword. Okay, your opinion, my opinion, and the truth. Because no one actually has the truth because the, sub the, the conscious mind only picks up so much. So let's say you see something, your subconscious mind takes a picture, your conscious only remembers bits and pieces of it. And it relates it, when you speak to somebody else, from all your past, your memories, your, you know, 80% of what you do comes from your past. So the perception of what you understood comes out, which isn't what you actually saw, which isn't what it was actually there. So everything is perception. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Anthony goes, you guys are already hypnotized by Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Actually, we're going going there as soon as we get done. Uh, I was so busy trying to get ready to get on this morning and make sure the programs worked and all that, that we never got to get coffee. So my eyes aren't spinning so much yet. But uh, yeah, as soon as we leave, you're right, we are going there. <laughs> James says, yes, most news is opinion and not news. So it's like that in Bulgaria too? Come on, I thought Bulgaria would have had it different. Huh, I'm so disillusioned. <laughs> yeah, let's see, uh, like the military, the right way, the wrong way, and the right way. <laughs> yeah. No, the, uh, what they used to tell us in the military, there's the right way and there's the military way. <laughs> yeah. But... Oh, good. Anybody have anything else they'd like to ask or anything? I, again, I still haven't seen anything about what you want to see in the future. Uh, have everything the same as it is now? <laughs> All I have is CNN. Oh, I'm sorry, James. <laughs> there's more to life than CNN. <laughs> but yeah, there's like hundreds of them. If you don't, if you need more than CNN, James, go look online. Okay, maybe that's all you have on television. Uh, so online, you'll have all of them. That's it's like a three ring circus. <laughs> so let's see. 
What else did I have? I wanted to talk about the holiday sales, which I did. Let's and the link is below here. Uh, let's see what we uh, what kind of things you want to see for next year. So if oh for those of you that are watching this after, you know, please go ahead and leave comments below the video afterwards. If you have ideas of what you'd like to see, again, it helps us to know what kind of things to do. So if we have like five or six people saying the same thing, then hmm, that's a strong. Uh, indication that maybe we should start looking at that kind of a course you know i know this year we made quite a few with the you know ericksonian and the you know we did a lot of the i guess you could say the in-depth courses uh so what else did we do you know we did ericksonian we did uh forensics we did a lot of different ones so you can go ahead and leave leave that below the video and kind of things you'd like to see and you know giving us any ideas or comments you have that would be very helpful and if you're interested in the mastermind, let us know. Uh, when we get enough people put together, we'll go ahead and uh, try to do that. Again, if you're interested in doing some kind of a mastermind, leave us comments below. Tell me a little bit about you know uh, who you are, what you do, and what you'd like to see happen with it. Because if I put together a mastermind uh, uh, group of people, I'd like to make sure they're all similar uh, type situation. In other words, all people interested in hypnosis and not, you know, one person interested in selling Tupperware. Okay. So that way everyone, we can get the most help or the most uh, positive benefit out of each group. Let's see. Uh, how do you deal with difficult or resistant clients? Okay. Well, I'll start talking about that, William, but explain to me, what do you mean by difficult analytical ones or ones uh, why, why are they resistant? It's, and it's important to know, because remember they're coming to your office and they're paying you, you know, big money to be hypnotized. So where is that resistance coming from? Is it because they're coming with their spouse and their spouse is paying for it? Or it's a teenager coming and his mom's paying for it? Or is he paying for it and he just thinks he can't be hypnotized? Uh, in a lot of cases, you have resistance clients. Resistance comes from fear, uh, either fear of hypnosis or fear of what's life going to be like if I don't have this negative problem again. Uh, remember, people generally people are victims. They they're sick, and you're going to love this. I'll hear a lot of comments, but you're sick because you want to be because of what comes from it. You you. Uh, hey, Luke, what's that author's name that says that? Um, you're sick because you want to be? You're broke because you want to be Larry, Larry Winget. Oh, Larry Winget has a book that says you're broke because you want to be. you got to read that book, okay? And I, you can take that to your sick because sick you want to be, you're poor because you want to be, whatever it is. Uh, because you might not want to be sick consciously, but on a subconscious level, people who remain sick in a lot, not every case, but in a lot of cases because they get something out of it. Uh, matter of fact, go to, <laughs> I'm going to bring back this here, go to Dunkin' Donuts in the morning, okay, and watch the groups of elderly people sitting in the corner. And what are they talking about every single day? Oh, my kidney. Oh, I'm taking these meds. Oh, my neck. Oh, my, you know, uh, not rigor mortis, my arthritis. <laughs> okay, sorry to confuse those two. Uh, they just talk about their sickness and all the others are like, oh, poor you, oh, poor you. You see what I mean? They're getting all this attention. And, oh, have you heard so-and-so has this and so-and-so has that? And getting all that attention is their reward. They look forward to that. It's almost like a badge of honor. So, excuse me. Uh, so, so in order to be healthy in order to change one of the biggest things you need to do or the main most important thing to do is to take responsibility and it's funny how you know one of the first things when somebody call, you know calls me and says hey i just found out i have cancer or i have this or that one of the first things i tell them is why don't you keep it to yourself and start thinking that you're healthy because what happens as soon as somebody gets a sickness let's say they have cancer they get online and tell everyone in their social media i have this i have that and then the pity party starts i'll pray for you god this and that and, blah, blah, blah. and oh, on and on and on and on and they feel wow i'm a superstar you see what i mean so it's already started so it's like the sickness is digging in now 
However, I tell them, don't tell anyone. So if they're the only one that knows about it, now they're not going to be reminded every three seconds, oh, you poor thing, you poor thing. You see what I mean? This is what needs to stop. So now if they're not hearing it, now they can focus on the positive. I am healthy. I am healthy. Because disability or a disorder is exactly that. It's not in order, and I'm in an orderly state. I'm healthy. That's all there is is health. And that's how you're able to heal things and get over it. But you have to change your whole mindset. But I got off on a soapbox there and went off forever. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, will you run another promotion and sales this month? Uh, not in the thought yet. Uh, we pretty much finished our holiday sales. So we were going to basically, Raluca and I are going to just take off and go to Florida. And that's a nice thought. But uh, no, we're going to pretty much <laughs> uh, let it go until the holidays is, uh, are over and see what happens then. But we haven't anything planned. But you still have till midnight tonight for the one we got going on now. And the link is right below this video. So you get till midnight. Uh, that one was supposed to end a week ago, but we actually extended it a week. It was supposed to be one day for each sale. But there were so many people that were on vacation, weren't able to see it. I said, well, let's extend this one anyways. Let's see. Uh, Anthony, best way I could think of is explaining that the hypnotist doesn't have superpowers. Well, other than me, no. Okay, <laughs> hypnosis is the responsibility of the client. And you tell them your job is to help guide them there. Uh, it's yeah, exactly. You're you're the guide. They're doing the work. Okay. And you know, it, it's kind of like I tell people. You know, you're not a healer. You're a hypnotist. You're a coach. In other words, you can't heal anybody, but you can give them the information so they can heal themselves. And that's exactly what it is. They heal themselves. Uh, As I suspected, he says, uh, he keeps, uh, oh, he probably has a difficult, uh, it's difficult to crack, but he is self-fulfilling. He's, yes, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy when they say, you know, I can't do this or it's difficult to stop. What are you saying? What are you focusing on? It's difficult to stop. Okay. So it has to be, I can do it. I can do it. Okay, William, use a big, uh, I mean, James, you know, he's saying, William, use a bigger hammer. <laughs> well, with that, folks, uh, I was just given the high sign that we've been here almost an hour now. Uh, and uh, there's some people that want their coffee. So anyways, I am going to be letting you all go. And hey, thanks for a great 2018. I'm looking forward to an even greater 2018. 19. So give us your ideas. And for those of you that are new over here, let people know about us. That's how we grow. And that's one of our biggest goals is to continue to grow. And for those of you that have not done it yet, right below this video, see that little subscribe button? Go ahead and click on it now. You know, it makes, mine makes really neat music. And when you click on that subscribe building, a button, it's going to make the most wonderful sound that's going to fill up your house. And did you click on it yet? <laughs> Surprise. But click on the subscribe button and that bell. By clicking on that bell, it lets you know when we're doing something new. The bell kind of is like a, uh, a reminder saying, Randy's coming on live. Because if you just click subscribe, you're subscribed. But if you want to know when we're on live, click on that bell too. So go ahead and do that. It's going to help us to grow our community. And I appreciate all of you for being part of this community. So have a great day. If you haven't gotten your coffee yet, go out and get it. So that way when Raluca and I get eyes, we can say we're having coffee together. <laughs> so with that, I will see you the next time. And I'm trying to figure out how to stop this. There we go. Have a great day. Bye-bye.